What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my buddies, Mike and Jesse. How's it going? What's up? Guys, we are reviewing Season 2, Episode 4 of Into the Badlands, entitled Palm of the Iron Fox. Whoa. Imagine that's it. So, uh, yeah, guys, what's up? What's what? going on? Guys, uh, this is a cool episode. Um, uh, we're about to give you our ratings, but before we do that, if you don't know what we do on this partition, this par- partition, particular video, Jesse, what do we do on this v- review thing? All right, so we have story rating, which is, of course, the story. Then we have visuals, which incorporate the fight scenes. Then we have characters slash acting, which is the characters are acting. <laughs> and finally, we have music, which also incorporates <laughs> other sounds and our overalls all put together with uh i believe it was shurikens yes we're using butterfly our ratings are the uh butterfly shurikens the widow's butterfly shurikens that her little butterflies use to kill people and we got to see one in action this episode which was really really fun all right so without further ado let us get going mikey what the hell you got for us man well, friends, for my story part of the review, I'm going to give it a 3.5 this week. Okay, all right. Okay, I wrote that it is a action. It was very action backed. I wrote <laughs> during the trial. Um, I thought uh, I thought it was you know, the fight scene was great. I mean, we didn't get too too much um, away from you know the trial that the widow was under. But the whole fight scene and her getting ready and then Quinn entering was just was cool. So even though we didn't necessarily get too much, we we got a great episode of 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 action. Um, I also put MK sneaking around. Um, He's trying to learn the truth about his mother. You know, I want my mom kind of a thing, which is cool. Uh, But he obviously, you know, he's learning with the origami flower how to get into this. Uh, we've been calling it the uh, the um, what's the word? Oh, you can know. yeah the upside down. Yeah, the upside down. Upside down. Upside, yeah. I was calling it. I guess you, you were calling it upside down, which that, is right? pretty apropos. I like it. Good, good, good. All right. Uh, uh, so yeah. All right. So you can cut that little piece out. Maybe this little piece out too in between. <laughs> uh, for for visuals, I'm going with a three. Um, I haven't strayed too crazy from my previous ratings on these episodes. Um, you know, like we always say, the landscapes and everything are fucking awesome on this. You know, the building where the trial was, uh, where the trial was held for the like widow, the, the brick whatever, building yeah. was cool. Yeah, like the mansion, and we got to see, um, we got to see, you know, different barons. Everybody has awesome fucking costumes. Um, you know, the fight scene with the blood and the, and, and the widow stomping on the foot of, of Chow and, and yeah. you know, with the blood and it just the awesome, awesome with always, always great with yeah. the, with the visuals. Yeah. And then, and I also wrote MK's vision was cool too, with the, the mirrored room and, and whatnot, um, for the characters, Excuse I'm giving it a three. Um, I put, you know, like I said earlier in the story, we didn't get too much, but with what we did get from from the widow and from Waldo, um, I enjoyed it. You know, I like how yeah. you know I said this earlier too. I, I like how Waldo was like her VP, you know, like her um, her second in command kind of thing, and she and she definitely takes his advice. Yeah. Um, and of course, uh, we only got a little bit of the other barons, but there are other skills, and everybody had their own individual weapons, which was cool. It's not like everybody just had so cool. I know. Swords. You know what I mean? It's not like everybody just had like knives or swords. The one guy had the the you know the, the brass knuckles, spiky knuckles, kind of a thing, and yeah, yeah. this kind of stuff. Uh, so I gave it a three for for characters, and then for music, I gave it a three and a half. I liked the intro. When uh, the widow was getting oh, her getting the, ready and going to the part, the, 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 the trial, to, yeah. yeah, I liked the entrance for that. I liked, uh, of course, the entrance when Quinn and his and his boys rolled in. Yeah. Um, and for sound effects, because we like to put sound effects in with this music uh, category, because obviously it's a martial arts show, so we're gonna get some kick ass sounds. Um, so of course the sound effects uh, for the the trial fight was was um really cool especially when when um uh what's the widow's uh daughter again tilda tilda threw the shirk and the butterfly shirk and it was like just really cool cool stuff so overall it's a three and a half um 
I think last week I might have been a three, so it's yeah. increasing a little bit for me. I mean, the show, the show overall, I see where it's where it's headed. And now that we're getting, um, you know, we're getting a lot of, you know, it was action packed, and the fact that everything kind of is coming to fruition. So we're seeing, hopefully, what what will happen next is going to be some fucking badass stuff, especially when when Sunny joins because we joins didn't see any, fray, any yeah, yeah. Didn't see anything of Sunny. So. Uh, yeah. What about you, Chris? What do you What do you got on this one? Cool. All right. Uh, well, for me, um, my story is going to be a four. Okay. Uh, yeah, I gave it a four. I, at first, I gave it a three point five, and then I'm thinking about it more, and I'm like, you know what? No, it, it, I'm giving it a four because we've got some major changes now. This is we're only four episodes in, and everything is different now. Mm-hmm. Even though you know what I mean, like they were all running a certain way, and they, you know, the the, the people they were kind of infighting and this and that. You got Quinn is back. You got they betrayed. Um, they've betrayed the widow. Um, you know what I mean? Even Sonny. Sonny's, uh, I mean, he wasn't in this episode, but still, he's in a place right now. Vale. Yeah. So it's like we've got so many different things happening now for these characters. That's a big, so yeah, there's a lot in this story if you think about it. Yeah. I mean, you know? It was so, quick. You know, they, they jumped to everything quick. But you got to think like, if you think about it. Yeah. Like, shit, oh my God. And he killed his son. Like that's a major that's that's a major thing. So so anyway, we'll get into that later on in the discussion yeah. video. Uh, so yeah, so I gave it a four. Visuals, I uh, I also gave it a four, because yeah. you know a lot of things you said, the stunts and the fighting were really cool. There's some great choreography in these fights, um, and the costumes were amazing. Yeah, um, every Baron back. had not only their own costume but their own weapons, their own colors. Like I yeah. fucking loved it. It was so fucking cool. Mm-hmm. But even even the even the dudes, like, very reminiscent again, Game of Thrones. We can never have these conversations <laughs> without a, a correlation, a reference to Game of Thrones. When they're out yeah. before, you know, waiting for the dudes' little doves to come, they're all like in an encampment waiting. It reminded me of Game of Thrones, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so visuals, you know, plus the the again, their the cinematography with the close ups, like they do wonders in in giving me. I have a plethora of choices for thumbnails. I'll tell you that much. Considering, <laughs> I, you know, we use faces for thumbnails. Perfect. I don't have to blur up backgrounds. Don't do any of that shit. Um, all right. So, yeah. So, characters and acting, I'm giving it a four. Because there was some really good, good character shit in this. Um, this is the, the... Character shit? Character shit. Yeah. Okay. This is the most... This is the best, like, I really enjoyed the Widow. I, I'm enjoying her character more and more and more. Mm-hmm. Um not because of her badassery, but essentially because, like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm really enjoying the actress now and how she's playing this character. And she's like, she's got these facial expressions, like when looking at Waldo, when they, you know, and when she's, when she was like, you know, betrayed, like, it was just, yeah. you know, her stance, that wide stance as if she was, you know, not ladylike. She was getting ready, you know, just. She's you confident. Know. And Quinn, <laughs> you know, I, I actually, I, I I uh, I liked, I enjoyed his response to him. You know how he treated his son, and he thought he was like good, like trying to give him like a life lesson. I felt like he was like, "This is what you need to be. This is what you need to be." But then his instinct kicked in, and he fucking killed him. And he was like, "You weren't supposed." He's like, "You were supposed to just do it. Like you should have just done it." And he's like, "He would have been okay with that." And Ryder, Ryder. I mean, again, I I mean, I'm not gonna spend too much time. Great characters. Ryder being a bitch as usual. You know, and like this, all the everyone owning, even the new barons, we didn't get to see a whole lot of them, but we got to see a little bit of their personalities, which is cool. So I'm hoping yeah. we're going to see more because, like I said in the story, things are fuck. She says, I have someone at every one of your houses, right? So she's ready to fucking decimate these people. So anyway, yeah. good stuff. Uh, music, I'm giving it a four. Um, mm-hmm. Multiple times that I, not only in, this, in the scenes you said, but even during the fights, Mike, just, you know, mm-hmm. like th- those, those, those. I just, it was like, it was frenetic. It was used great. It really amped up the fighting scenes. So I don't know. Yeah. I enjoyed the shit out of it. Uh, this whole episode overall is getting a four from me. Flat four. It was, a, I, and I said that was a, a surprise to me because I, I wasn't initially going to give it that many, that high, but I'm like, a lot of shit went down here and it was done really well. It wasn't a yeah. whole, it was a lot, but not a lot. It was contained, but still a lot in the overall scheme of things. I don't know. Anyway, really good. Jesse. I've talked enough. Your turn, buddy. All right. So for a story rating, I gave it a four. A lot of development there. We get to yep. see the Barons in all their glory, of course. Vale steps up. 
even though she ends up being kind of dumb in the end, not grabbing the keys at first. And Quinn is such a great father. Is <laughs> yeah. though? That's, yeah, how, you, that's how you discipline your children, people. Yeah. Knife to the heart. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, visuals, I give a four. Awesome fight scenes. I loved Waldo's wheelchair of doom. Oh, yeah. So good. Right? Yeah. Uh, and if you remember from the inheritance cycle, Aragon and all that stuff, uh, that one Baron's knuckles reminded me of the uh, the Asgold yep. Gullman or yes, whatever that the yes, dwarves used. That's right. That's like, right. Uh, yeah. yeah. Kind of looked like a fucking dwarf himself, right on the show. It did yeah, Pulled seriously, it. yeah. Yeah. My ox. Right. Um, the characters and acting. It got a three point five. I was going to give it a four, but then I thought, you know what? Writer's accent just slips up occasionally with that cotton mouth sounding. Uh, I don't know. All right, okay. Yeah, it, it it breaks the immersion for me. He could be talking, and then one sucker talks like a little, like it has a mouth full of cotton. Yeah, kind of <laughs> like Sean Connery. Um, or Bane. Or Bane. Rises, yes, yeah. fire rises. That kind of stuff. <laughs> um, but the acting was it was good, uh, even though most of it was overtaken by the fight scenes and all that. And yeah. the music also gets a four. Uh, well blended. Of course, as usual, and uh, it, it's spot on when it needs to be. So my overall mm-hmm. was a four because it was a nice balance of fighting and story and killing yeah. one's loved ones for a lesson, I, I guess. Yeah, a lot, a lot, like I said, a lot went down. So overall, what do you think? That gives us two fours and a 3.5. So are we making it a 3.5 or a four? I, 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 don't know. Know. I think it kind of pulls it down two, to 3.5 yeah. at this you point. You think so? I hey, think it's three point seven five. Three point <laughs> seven five. So what do we make that a four? They get the idea. We yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah, we right. enjoyed we'll it. give it a four star rate. <laughs> all right, all right. So we'll give it a four. All right, we'll give it a four. We all, we all we all really did enjoy this. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, good stuff. Good stuff. I mean, I don't know what else we could say about it. I mean, we do have a lot more we want to say about it. We're gonna do it in the in the description. So. <laughs> Um, I think that's going to end up doing it then. Guys, let us know what you thought about this episode. You know what I mean? Yes. Don't forget to reach us on all the socials on Third Person Pod on Facebook, on YouTube, and exclusively on iTunes exclusively? as well. Ooh, I like that. Exclusively on iTunes. I like that's that. right. So don't forget to hit those like boxes if you enjoy the content that you are seeing. And we, of course, love the comments that you guys leave below. So don't forget to leave comments on our Facebook page um, also besides the YouTube channel. And don't forget to check out some of our other uh, vids that we have on Third Person Pod. Just do it. Check it out. Do it. Check it out. And guys, don't forget we also have the review. I'm sorry, the discussion and the live reaction for this particular episode of The Badlands. So why don't you go check those out because those are also fun. And we also, as usual, have comicblitz.com in which you put third person pods, you get three months for three bucks, that's a dollar a month, and you get unlimited comics on all your iOS, Android, and other devices. So, go do it. I don't believe you. I don't believe you, mate. I don't believe it. <laughs> Guys, that's going to do it for this <laughs> review. Let us know what you thought. We'll see you next time on the next review for Into the Badlands. Thanks, guys. Peace out. Peace. <laughs>